this is a quick <clears throat> video on how to make pink stringer which is actually encased pink stringer sometimes people don't realize that when they look at a bead and there's a pink stringer they think that is just a, an opaque color but there's no at this point at least there's no really pretty pink available so I'm making this by encasing a rod of regular effort of white uh, with Rubino Oro and you can see in the picture I'm just preheating this. You can see in the picture that the Rubino rod is fairly thick. And I find that if you have a choice, you know, if you have five to six or five to seven millimeter rods, always try to use the thickest one for the encasing. That just gives you a deeper color. So you heat the white, and I'm almost heating it a little bit too much. You can see when I turn it that it started to bend, so you don't really want that. So I heat a big blob. Of Rubino and now I'm just gonna wrap it around the white in one big swoop so I start kind of dropping it at front and then pushing it over till it meets the other end and I usually leave a little there's a little triangle a little white triangle Oops, I'm shaking so I add a little bit more there then <clears throat> put the rod aside and now see how you have kind of a step here where you have a fairly thick layer of the Rubino and I want to stretch that out a little bit so it's easier to heat this when you pull it out so I put some heat on the Rubino and take the magic wand push down so oh, Jesus I'm shaking shouldn't have had coffee before doing this so just heat a little bit <clears throat> push down and only try to heat the Rubino don't get heat on the white. So, so now I have a little bit of a longer, <clears throat> a longer piece to pull. Now the other thing you have to do is, see there's the white core. <clears throat> you have to kind of hide that white core because if you don't do that, you know, and you grab with tweezers to pull, you're gonna end up pulling the white inside <clears throat> and that way the Rubino is left behind. So I heat the tip of this like that, and then grab it, it's not hot enough, and then grab it with the tweezers like that, see how it kind of pulls the Rubino over the front, and throw this out, and now heat this blob, be careful that you don't heat the white, because the white is much much softer than this encased part with the Rubino, so if you heat the white on the left that will pull out first, so heat that grab it with tweezers and pull it out second, you can't see what I'm pulling I'm still pulling, 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 pulling and there, now it's stiff and since then I just break it off with tweezers and now if you want to make more, then you, next, you make the next round here and you try to hit the Rubino, you try to touch the Rubino and then you can just melt off this end and pull out without having to pull it over the white. And that's it.